with the Yo Ho Ho It's Tale of the Toaster and welcome to a pretty different format for this video. We are today going to be going over the QR codes. So some immediate di differences already, like we've we've not got just gameplay on the screen. Um, as a reminder, I am playing on console but I'm still using a capture board to put it on a computer screen so that's why it works this way but I am still playing on a console as you will see when I am using the 3DS for its camera capabilities because yeah again there'll be no face cam a there's no room for it and b the 3DS will basically be working as one anyway see here why, why don't I uh turn this around wow that that really is zoomed in so with the yo ho ho it's tell the toaster welcome to the QR codes video in in Azuma 11 Go Galaxy. We're going to be going through this um, one by one. If you look at the right hand side of the screen compared to my camera, I could, for instance, scan this QR code. It is one that I've already scanned, but this is just like a sake of example one. It kicks me out <laughs> when I uh, have scanned it, but what I'm doing right now is I'm on the Inazuma 11 wiki. I'm on an article called Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy Game Gallery. This will be linked in the description. I'm obviously going to be showing off each QR code one by one in this video as well, if that's easier, but you can use whichever you want um, for ease of access. But this is this is very heavily going to be dependent on the Inazuma wiki because, for example, the one we just scanned is actually one we already scanned in the main Let's Play. That's why it didn't work. But you have to understand the Japanese text a little bit, but that's kind of what this video is for, essentially a translation. Look UFO, Keenan's extremely good dribbly move, which we saw in the anime, is not part of his level up moveset in the Girl Galaxy game. You have to scan the QR code to get five manuals for it. So to show an actual successful one instead, if I scan this one, I'm surprised it can read it from that low quality. But every time you do a successful scan, it goes into the inner link and saves the game. And up on my other screen again, I can see that it's actually these stone looking fellas. You may not recognize these. They don't really have much of a role in game, but they actually appear in the dark room training facility stuff in the anime. So here's a little gallery of them. Um, so I won't go into everything in great detail, but this has kind of put the, I'd say the most important QR codes right at the start. Um, so we'll give a fair bit of info on these as well. well actually, this one's <laughs> not the biggest. This is just Danger, who's been a slightly exclusive guy in every Inazuma game so far. I may need to learn um, to shut up in between all of these and just cut out the game saving all the time. But... For now, again, this doesn't even have a link, but this Mukata triplets means the Kirkwood triplets. So the Triangle Z, guys. What I need to explain now is we've just scanned a QR code for three players. That does not mean that we have the players. That just means we can unlock them now through the Palpac Society. So to do another one, which I did as an example in the main series, this one, it says it's already scanned is for Reese, and as you know, Reese is in fact my my lovely Midori Kawa, my lovely Jordan Greenway, but in his alien form. So let's just um, do this one, and then <laughs> you really can't read that. That's the American guy. Yeah, I can just hover over this. This is a brand. This feature wasn't available on fandom until like a couple weeks ago, but it's coming at just the right time. So Dylan Keats from uh, America and also, uh, what's Demonio called again? Julio Acuto, I believe, uh, from Not Quite Orpheus, the one that Ray Dark wanted to replace with. So I'm just gonna load up the game before we go back into scanning the QR codes en masse, just to give a quick look so you can check the inner link and it will tell you everything that you've unlocked so far. They're all in the Premier community. So if I just go and get there, it's over on the right hand side. So if you're scanning a QR code for items like the Look UFO manuals, 
they would be with Mr. Veteran on the left, and then the players, like the Murdoch brothers, are all on the right. So we don't have Kirkwood's own pickle here on this uh, Big Bang save file, or indeed much of anything we can get. Sh shussy <laughs> Chef! Um, I think we might need a little bit of a rename on that character. Oh no, well at least I could have had Paolo Hinawa if he didn't require treasure hunter. Um, let me let me check my achievements, see if there's any uh, extra ones yet to be uh, unleashed on me. There we go. So I've got some some new ones that I haven't checked. Can I now get Paolo the dark room training facility gentleman? Yes, he's a defender. I can trade two red coins and he will join my team. So that is like the short uh, version of what QR codes are and how to to use them. And now the rest of this video is just going to be individually um, scanning the QR codes one by one. This is Mr. Veteran and this is where you would get uh, Luck UFO and all the other moves that we'll be scanning later. But, you know, if you wanted to use this as a walkthrough for how do I use QR codes, that's kind of it. It's just scan them like that using a 3DS. If you're using an emulator, then I literally can't help you. But the rest of this, for the sake of showing it, will still be just scanning every QR code. Anyway, because there's actually some really interesting ones, particularly one that's coming up in three scans time. So for now, you've got Ishido, which is, in fact, uh, Fifth Sector Alex Zabel, so grown-up Axel Blaze with his blue haircut. We can scan Victor's older brother in style, Maiwa mode, over to that one. But that is that is Vladimir Blade. But I particularly want to bring attention to again, it's Omaiwa mode over there before I even had the chance. Um this is Kusaka Buddy Fury, but in his berserker form. So here he is, and he's actually only requiring uh, one silver token and then just conversation topics to unlock, so they intentionally make it really easy to get him as long as you scan the QR code. I think the idea there is maybe they want it to be possible for you to get angry Buddy Fury during the main story and not just necessarily in the post-game. You can scan most of these at any time, I would imagine. Like, I had the option to have Luck UFO on my Keenan Sharp from Chapter 3 if I wanted to. Um, so I guess they give you the option to get Buddy Fury pretty easily at any point. So basically this is to say once you've beaten the game, the whole condition of scoring a goal to transform into the other Buddy Fury doesn't work anymore. So that's why he's a separate recruitable QR character, which was originally made available on the Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy website which I think is still up to this day, but this is still a uh, much easier way to find everything in one place. Next we can get young Arian Sherwind. That's been around since uh, the first Go game. And now we're going to switch um, away from characters for a little bit. Instead, this is a really basic one, which I assume was just readily available as part of some campaign. This is just 10 gold coins that we use for recruitment. You can also get Bicycle Blade, so that you can have a really good Void-type long shot on just about anyone you like. You can also get Ricardo's defensive move, Einsatz, onto every player in the same way. And then uh, back to the silly characters. For a little bit, this QR code corresponds to Avery Rare Card. Avery, my favourite name in the world, actually, just ahead of Sky. But uh, the pun here is just a a very rare card, obviously. Now, so that was a little bit of a miscellaneous jumble. But the next two are pretty pretty cool actually so that one I've already scanned off screen by mistake so let me try that again 
Let's do the one on the right instead. Miximax again works pretty differently in Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy. You still can Miximax say Victor Blade with Okita to get the the ultimate alternate form, but it only comes with a sm a much smaller um, increase in stats this time. And instead, what you can do is recruit characters Miximax forms as separate characters. So what we've just done is got uh, Nobunaga Oda plus Ricardo and it's, uh, Victor versus Okita. And under that is Pegasus Red. So that is a fighting spirit, which was exclusive to the movie. Um, go on, show us a little picture of it. Oh no, this is actually a totem, sorry. It's based on uh, the movie exclusive Pegasus fighting spirit. You know, Pegasus punch thingy. You get what I mean. But this is actually a brand new, uh, just red version of Arian's totem. Let's actually have a look at that page, see how it differs. Um, because obviously it's a reskin of Pegasus. Let's have a look at those stats and then... Oh, <laughs> that's the Wikipedia article for Pegasus. Well... We can remember 120, 130, 150. This is 110, 130, 150. So in some respects, Pegasus is a little better. The main thing is that it's fire element instead of being wind. So some of these QR codes are starting to get a little smaller now. Let's see how well they scan. Still perfectly. This is Atari, which is... Um, just to, all right, so this is a couple of little random scouts. So I'm just gonna do all of these ones off screen. You can you can see who they are from the picture here. And well, we got Spot in there as well. So these guys, I will just go and quickly get. And also have another set of three uh, gold coins. So if you're looking at the browser side, we've got that one. We've got that one and a slightly bigger one down there. I imagine during the game's lifespan, they were probably gradually just dropping more and more new QR codes for gold coins just to keep you topped up. Something a little more interesting than that now, we can get Professor Layton. Here he is in the game. Oh, no, it's not going to give us a preview image this time. It will for Luke Triton, though who again has the same voice actress as Mark Evans so recognisably all those uh, years ago. Let's get Luke unlocked. So again, I don't know how difficult they will be to recruit in terms of their actual items at the society. Probably not the worst, but at least, again, the Leighton characters are quite accessible in this one. You know, in Chrono Stones, we... They were code exclusives as well, but those codes were never actually released. So they only became available about a, a year and a half ago. And then in the original trilogy, they made appearances, but they were never actually recruitable. So this is kind of the easiest it's ever been to get the latent characters. I've also just got uh, Arian's Miximax with King Arthur there. But why stop there as far as level 5 characters are concerned? How small can we go with these QR codes? Just about scan that one in. I may need to start uh, enlarging some of these images. But that one was for Van Yamano from Little Battlers Experience. He was available in Chrono Stones and now he's available again alongside Hero. Same story there. Just about got that scanned. Uh, the image if you need reminding. So it's this guy who actually I did use in a couple of my level 99 competition route matches in the Chrono Stones Let's Play. I really like him. But this guy was not available in Chrono Stones. So another LBX game released after Chrono Stones and Go Galaxy. Oh, really struggling with this one. Go on. Let's get it enlarged, just to demonstrate... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's barely any bigger. Go on. That's good enough. So, here's name. He doesn't have a dub name. Senna Arata. He is 
in the third Little Battlers experience game. So, was not available in Chrono Stones because he didn't actually exist yet. But you know, there will eventually be some Little Battlers experience coverage on this channel so you can learn more and more about them. Additionally, we now have Yokai Watch characters in the game. So again, the very first Yokai Watch had not been released at the time of Chrono Stones, but it did release in the exact same year as Go Galaxy. So you can get both Nate, the main character, and am I in the right place there? No, I've just rescanned an existing one. There we go, you can also get Katie Forrester, both the male and female protagonists of not just the first Yokai Watch game, but I think all of them. It's kind of unlike Pokemon in that sense, where they carry over from game to game, which is pretty cool. This next much larger, larger QR code is for, for for you, brand new character as of Go Galaxy. So it's it's not like I could just assume uh, you've seen them before. A gourmet alien who tries the cuisine of various planets and says that Earth's hamburgers are the best and a defender most importantly with obliteration so very good but uh make of a what you will this should be a little more familiar let's get that zoomed in i'm basically having to navigate around my own microphone that's in the way that qr code is for young victor blade who's always been a little secret from time to time but is a good one to have. Now this one I have already scanned. I'm just gonna leave it up on the right because you know by now how to scan a code. But Cadence Sound Town from Mary Times has been reintroduced for Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy and I'm so happy about that. He is part of my Supernova team and you will see him in some upcoming videos. You can also get Liuka who is an inhabitant of Phalamorbius. Oh, well, there we go. So a scout character from a different planet. Now, this is two in one. So I have scanned them, and even better than I could have ever expected. It's, well, <laughs> all right, one's more important than the other, I guess. This is a hoverboarding champion who lives in Silica. So that's pretty cool. She needs to be QR scanned apparently. But more importantly, we've got Downtown from Alpine. What a brilliant little character to bring back, just like Cadence Soundtown. By Go Galaxy, they were giving us just a couple more slightly, uh, I'm not going to call it fan service, because it's literally just characters from Inazuma's past, but slightly more obscure, fun ones. Uh, I've also scanned 20 more gold coins from the 7-Eleven campaign. <laughs> Thank you to the 7-Eleven supermarkets, not just for feeding me while I was briefly based in America, but for also giving me 20 gold coins in Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy, and that one was another gold coin. Next, we're finally going to get to some moves. For example, Gold Rush, the Uzbekistan shot. And everybody's favourite move, Death Scythe Middle, or Centre Scythe Slice. How about something better? How about Parkour Power? Of course, Falco Flashman's very, very cool move. But the counter to every Falco Flashman is, of course, Gurami. So this is the Gurami spotlight of the Let's Play. You are required to fight against this player in the main story of the game. So they're based obviously in Nyadi, as you can tell by looking at them. Not just in the game, but also in the anime. Like, this guy has actual lines and animation and stuff, and it's the guy who kind of read, reads Falco's mind and shows how much of a lonely... See, he's got a plot section on the wiki, and also a, a massive fan on Twitter. Thank you to Cheeky at Oofidoo for creating all the fan art that exists of this character in the world and for being the the one the one to stick up for Garami. I also love Garami. He deserves an official dub name. And here's 20 coins. <laughs> Down to the last five then. This one, let's just keep it to moves for a second. We can get Zedzag, Arian's Dribble. 
There's also another inhabitant of Phalamorbius called Hakuri. Now here's an interesting one. This QR code is barely even still alive. It's just about scannable from some photo of a photo, I think. But this is for Tent Suru, the Miximax between Victor Blade and Arian Sherwin. So very serious looking. Can't actually make it any bigger than that, but here he is. You may not be able to get the ideal Miximax like you could in Chrono Stones, but you can still recruit this guy alongside Ari Sauer. Now let's open that up because this player was in Inazuma 11 too, actually, all the way back to then. Serena Besse. She has a gift for flattery and, well, I don't really know more about her. She has a negative freedom stat in Inazuma 11 3. That's the trivia. I thought it was going to tell me a little bit more about who she is, but, well, it's a scout from Inazuma 11 2 that's back in Go Galaxy. I was going to assume it was based on, like, a real person. Uh, you can also get Flamingo, another scoutable Walter Posier, a street dancer who just, well, he's got official artwork and was in, oh, a game exclusive team, Galaxy 13? Let's have a little look at this. So it's a mix of characters that appeared in Galaxy, which released in 2013, and Flamingo was included by mistake because he was in a previous game. Right, well, okay, there's really not much that can be derived from that then. But that's actually it. We've scanned all the QR codes, so let's just have one more chat with Mr. Veteran and look through the society, see who happens to be available, who is easier than others. We have our 10 Einsatzes. Our 10 Bicycle Blades, Victor is watching on quite unhappily with that one. Arian, we can't scan his uh, reactions. This might take a little while because it's got to go through the jingle for all of them. This is actually the first episode of the Let's Play where I've recorded it without my headphones in because I simply did not need the game audio and it was going to get in the way when scanning codes. But there's young Arian and his, uh, his dog turned into a human. All of this stuff, you can get Young Victor Blade extremely easily. And there's Shus. Well, you know what, should I get Shussy? It's quite a funny name. Also Goalkeeper, so no great need. Luke Triton. Ah, we need the Strange Machine, which appears to be a DS. Or more specifically, it appears to be a Pokedex from Diamond and Pearl. That's what it looks the most like. Well, wow, surprisingly, we can get... Victor's Miximax with Okita. Well, I, I might as well. I'm hardly going to say no now, am I, when it's such a rare QR exclusive recruitable that's just right there at my doorstop. The fact that Gandares is exclusive to QR and he's also nowhere near his brother who's somewhere else further down the menu... I don't really get what the logic of that one was, and apparently I must not have scanned him because we've still got one more question mark. Garami is widely available here, uh, but this video has been long enough. Finally, you can get some more through the SD link, which I guess I'll find a way to show off at some point because I do own the right games, but go get scanning your QR codes. This has been Tale of the Toaster. I hope you enjoyed, and definitely get your luck UFOs, if nothing else. Toodle pip.